Hey, Popeye, are the latest. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. Well, in this journey over the next few days, we'll be starting now at Dunbar's River in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. We are going to be ending the journey at Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. So here is the route that we are going to take. We are going to be heading to Petersfield. Then we are going to go up into the hills. We are going to go to Darlistan. We are going to go over to Betteltown. Yeah man, over the next few days, that is the journey that we are going to take. We are going to be driving in the rain when we reach up on the hills. So, sit back, relax and drive with me. Now, earlier this morning, we released a video. We had gone and we interviewed young Kalisa Walker. She's 11 years old. She was shot and injured by hoodlums last year. If you haven't seen that video, I am imploring you to go back and watch that video. We released it this morning. Kalisa, she's supposed to be going overseas to do a surgery. She's seeking all the assistance she can get. On that video, there is also a link to a GoFundMe. Her mom's phone number is also included in the video. Please assist if you can. Yesterday we released a video and we gave you the story about Constable Richard Barrett, how he was taken out. Now, we had said that Constable Barrett's birthday was in September, <laughs> but we were wrong because we were looking at 9-6. So we were thinking September 6th. It's actually June 9th. So the 9-6 is correct. But his birthday is June 9th. We told you that he was called Officer Richie by many who know him. A lot of his colleagues, we are told, they called him Bacchus. Not Bacchus. They called him Bacchus. <laughs> you know what Bacchus mean? Yeah, man, that's what they called him. He used to keep some events at his establishment named Bacchus Saturday. Yeah, man, he loved that name, Bacchus. We have a whole heap of stories today. Well, in this video today, five persons were killed in Western Jamaica, excluding Constable Barrett. Yesterday we told you about some killings and we promised to update them in this video. So we are going to be updating those stories as well as giving you some additional information. We are also going to be giving you possible motive in at least two of the killings. You are going to want to listen every one of the stories they are very very important first up this incident it took place at riverside drive now riverside drive is in the granville police area in the parish of st james it took place yesterday afternoon saturday april 16th 2022 about 12 30. our information is that residents of riverside drive they reportedly heard loud explosions sounding like gunshots as a result the police were called on the arrival of the police a man he was later identified as that man that you're seeing on your screen his name is lino anthony welsh he was 30 years old and before the pandemic he used to be employed at ward's power tool in montego bay he lived at sart marsh in the parish of trelawney so on the arrival of the police, Lino, he was seen lying face down in a pool of his own blood. He was lying on a dirty road beside a black Nissan Tida motor car that he was seen driving earlier. He had gunshot wounds to his upper body. We are told that when the police reached on the scene, the motor car, well the engine for this motor car, it was still running. Lino. He was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital, where he was officially pronounced D.E.A.D. Our information is that when this crime scene was processed, a total of five 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. It is apparent that Lino, he knew who his killers were. He apparently went there to meet up with someone for whatever reason and he was killed. Now, we brought you a story yesterday. We told you about an incident that took place early yesterday morning. Saturday, 
April 16, 2022. It took place sometime after 1 o'clock. It took place at a place named Stettin District. Now, Stettin is in the Ulster Spring Police area in the parish of Trelawney. The man you are seeing on your screen, his name is Ramesh Johnson. He was popularly known as Cheese. Now, Cheese, he was 21 years old and he lived at Job Lane at Christiana in the parish of Manchester. Our information is that Cheese, he was riding a motorcycle. He was riding along the Stettin Main Road in the parish of Trelawney. He was heading home from a party. Well, this party, it was being held at Albert Town in Trelawney. So Cheese would have left the party and he was heading home to Christiana. Our information is that another motorcycle rode up behind Cheese. The pillion and the motorcycle, he brandished a gun and fired one shot, hitting Cheese in his back. Cheese, it is said, he fell off the motorcycle. Like we told you yesterday, we are not sure whether these hoodlums took away the motorcycle, but when the police reached on the scene, the motorcycle was not seen. He was rushed to the Percy Junior Hospital and was later transferred to the Mandeville Hospital where he died whilst being treated. We are told that he died sometime close to 8 o'clock yesterday morning. Now, our information is that when this scene was processed by the police, one 9mm pen shell was recovered from the scene. Like we told you, one shot was fired and cheese, he was hit in his back. If and when we get any further details, you know we are going to be updating this story. Now, in this next incident, remember yesterday we told you that we got information that a man named Mr. Sidney Hibbert, he was shot and killed. We told you that we are going to be updating this story. So, we are going to be updating it now. But before we start updating this story, we made the comment in the video that we posted yesterday. And somebody posted this comment in the comment section. If you look on your screen, that is the comment that the person posted. Let me read it. It says, Mr. Papai, you see the death of Mr. Sidney Hibbert? Tell the police to dig deep. He was supposed to go take a man named Paul off a piece of land he had at a nearby district called Pinnock. Shaftan. That should happen on Monday coming, that is tomorrow. He rent the farmland and someone offered Paul a spot and he's making trouble with the rest of the people them. So maybe him stop Mr. Hibbert. Officers, are you listening? So we are learning that early yesterday morning, Saturday, April 16th, 2022, about some minutes to 2 o'clock. Mr. Sidney Hibbert, he was 77 years old. You hear that? Mr. Sidney Hibbert, he was 77 years old. He lived at a place named Rosebank. Now, Rosebank is at Content in the Bluefields Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that Mr. Hibbert, he was at his home. He was at his four apartment board house when a door to the house was kicked off. It is said that a hoodlum entered the house. He was armed with a gun. Our information is that this hoodlum, he is known to Mr. Hibbert. This is based on what he said to Mr. Hibbert and what Mr. Hibbert said to him. I will say no more on that. We are told that this hoodlum, he shot Mr. Hibbert at point blank range, killing him on the spot. The hoodlum, he then threw some kerosene oil on the house and set it ablaze. He then made good his escape on foot in the area. The police and the fire brigade, they were called. The fire personnel, when they arrived on the scene, they were only able to do cooling down operation because by the time they arrived, the house, which is made out of board, it was completely destroyed by fire. We are told that the charred remains of Mr. Hibbert was seen in the ashes. We are also told that four 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. Now, <laughs> now, let me read what the person 
wrote again. Look on your screen and see what the person wrote. Let me read it again. Mr. Papai, you see the death of Mr. Sidney Hibbert? Tell the police to dig deep. He was supposed to go take a man named Paul off a piece of land he had at a nearby district called Pinnock Shaftan. That should happen on Monday coming. That's tomorrow. He rent the farmland and someone off a Paul a spot and he's making trouble with the rest of the people them. So maybe, just maybe, him stop Mr. Hibbert. Now let me tell you something. I have no doubt. I have no doubt whatsoever that Mr. Hibbert, one, he was killed by someone who he knew very well, based on what was said. And like we said, we can't go too much into that. Two, I have no doubt that Mr. Hibbert was killed over some type of property. Land being the most likely property. Westmoreland Police, over to you. That is a possible motive. Mr. Hibbert, he was 77 years old. He was shot and then his house burnt down with him inside of it. He never deserved that. Officers, a name was called. Find that man and do what you must to investigate this dastardly act. Sad indeed. <laughs> Why may I tell you, you know what? May I tell you? You think you hear nothing yet? You think you hear anything yet? You're gonna want to hear the next story. But before we reach the next story, let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. The stories are sad, not true. Yeah, man, especially in this time. You know, a time of reflection, Easter time. They are sad. They are heartrending. We know. But guess what? We are not making the news. We are bringing the news to you. Like we said all the time, we wish we didn't have to come here and be bringing these news to you. We wish on a day like today, we could have go to Bluefields or go to Negril and video people having fun in the beach or on the beach. We wish on a day like today, we could have go on a boat over to the island in Negril and do some video recording and bring it to you to let you know some of the things are some of the attractions that Jamaica have to offer. But these things are happening. And some of you, you know, I talk foolishness about when we talk about these things, we only get the hoodlums more power to do more things. You know, stop the foolishness. Stop the foolishness. You know, stop it. So, if you have not yet hit on the like button, you are not liking the stories. You are liking the fact that we are bringing the stories to you. Stories that you are not going to hear anywhere else in the way that we bring it to you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, remember to hit on the subscribe button as also hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Now, in the final story for today, that man that you are looking at on your screen, his name is Dino Duman. D-E-N-O D-U-M-A-N Now, Dino, he was 36 years old. He operates a plumbing service in and around Montego Bay. He also drives a car which he uses to run taxi. A lady, we are trying to find a photograph of her. Her name is Kedisha Clark. She is 27 years old. And, well, Dino lives at Hendon Narwood, whilst Kedisha, she lives at Paradise Narwood. Now, our information is that Dino, like we said, he drives a 2011 Toyota Probox motor car. He operates this car as a taxi in and around Montego Bay. We are learning that early yesterday morning, Dino was chartered by Kedisha. It's not the first time that she was chartering him. She chartered him to go to a place named Dundee. Now, Dundee is in the parish of Westmoreland and this is not the first trip with Kedisha and Dino. Kedisha, she normally charter Dino to go to this area to do business. We are told that Kedisha, when she left Montego Bay yesterday, 
she had a good amount of money on her to do this business that she planned on doing. You figure it out yet? Now, our information is that they reached Dundee some minutes after 3 o'clock early yesterday morning. But the persons who they went to do the business with, they had different ideas. Their idea was to take the money from Kadisha without delivering what she was supposed to get in return. So when Kadisha and Dino reached at the agreed spot, the persons who they went to do the business with, they held them up with guns. They tied up Dino's hands behind his back and took away the money from Kadisha. They then put them in the back of the car and drove with them to a cemetery in the area. Now, <laughs> can you just imagine how both Dino and Kadisha, how they were begging these hoodlums for their lives? Can you just imagine that for a moment? Now, when they reached at the cemetery, the hoodlums, they instructed both Dino and Kadisha to come out of the car. It is said that they used something. We are not sure what is it that they used, but they used something to hit Dino in his head a number of times, making sure that he did not survive. They then put Kadisha to kneel down. Bam, bam! Bullets to her head. The hoodlums, because they knew that they drove in the pro box and fingerprints might still be in the car, they then set the car on fire. The police, they were called and when they went to the scene, they saw both Dino and Kedisha lifeless. They also saw the burnt out pro box. Both Dino and Kedisha, they were subsequently taken to the Savannah Lamar Hospital where both of them were officially pronounced D-E-A-D. Just like that, Kedisha and Dino, they were taken out by persons known to them who they had gone to do business with. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Hey, Murder. Don't you be a bit me here, them a murder 